We are excited to announce to you that now the Deleaker supports the Rad Studio 10.4 Sydney. The new release of Rad Studio adds significant new and enhanced Windows capabilities throughout the product in addition to the major productivity and performance enhancements across supported platforms. The Deleaker works as a plugin in Rad Studio in order to help find leaks and optimize usage resources efficiently. In this video, you'll see how the Deleaker integrates with the new Rad Studio 10.4 Sydney and assists developers to find and fix leaks. Launch the Deleaker installer. The installer shows available Rad Studio versions. Rad Studio 10.4 Sydney is supported. Let the installer add the leaker to the Rad Studio. Ready. Start the Rad Studio. A developer can open the Deleaker window at any moment by clicking to the Deleaker menu. Let's create a new Windows VCL application. Build and run the project. Return to the Rad Studio, open the Deleaker window, and take a snapshot. Let's look at the live objects. They are grouped by the class name. Here is the main form and a lot of other objects. For each object, you can view its size, a source file, and explore its call stack. OK, let's close the application. The process quits and the deleaker starts taking a snapshot. No leaks found, and that's expected. Let's introduce a leak. Add a button to the form. Name it. Double-click the button to add a handler. 
Let's allocate some memory and instantiate one object of tstring list. You will see the way that the leaker finds these leaks. Build and run. Click the button several times. Close the application. The deleaker is preparing a snapshot. The deleaker has found some leaks. For each leak, you can view its hit count, size, source file name, and call stack. To explore leaked objects, switch to Delphi objects. The deleaker has found the tstring list object. Here is the call stack. To navigate to the source code, right click the call stack and choose Show Source Code. The leaker opens the source file and moves the cursor to the line where the object was allocated. Let's return to the allocations. Navigate to the line where the memory allocated by the getmem function. The final snapshot contains all information about leaked memory and objects, size, hit count, value, and module. It's easy to proceed to the source code to find the location of the allocated resources. Let's close the deleaker, the project, and create a new, similar application in C++ Builder. The project is ready. Build it and run. Without closing the application, switch to the IDE and open the Deleaker window. Take a snapshot. Here you see a lot of allocations and some live objects as well. Objects are grouped by the class name. For each object, you can explore the call stack. Close the deleaker and the application. The deleaker has found two global objects. Good job! Well, let's add some leaks. Drop a button to the form. Name it. Double click to open the handler. Let's introduce two leaks.
Start the debugging. Click the button a few times. Close the form. The deleker is taking a snapshot. The snapshot is ready. The deleker has found the leaked object. Here it's call stack. Right click to the call stack and choose show source code to navigate to the source of the leak. The deleker opens the editor in the correct line. Great! Switch to the allocations and you'll see that the leak made by the operator new has been detected as well. Right click to the allocation, choose show source code to go to the source code. Great, here is the correct line. The deleaker is a memory profile for both Delphi and C++ Builder that helps fix memory loss as well as leaks of handles and other resources. It is tightly integrated with Rad Studio to allow developers to locate the source of leaks without leaving the IDE. Happy coding!